My name is Ian Lowe. Today we're going to demonstrate an arthroscopic banker repair with Lempressage using the tactile shoulder model. So you can see here we have the model lined up in the ladder to keep its position. We already have our skin markings. I'm going to start with the standard posterior portal. Okay, so we're now in our joint. We can have an inside view. This is a glenoid on the left side and side. The humerus on the right hand side. You can see the dome of the humerus up to our biceps tendon in the front here. You can see our labrum is actually absent. It's been displaced, it's actually torn off and it's actually now displaced immediately. There's our midoglenohumeral ligament and the subscapularis muscle belly. You can see as we rotate, you can see the rotation of the subscapularis, your biceps tendon. We're gonna look at the rotator cuff here now. There's your rotator cuff. We've already created this model. Actually, this model has a tear. So this is our tear model. You can see the exposed footprint of the supraspinatus. Inferior capsule, our inferior labrum, and here's our hill sacs lesion here. You can see the exposed bone again, and then we can even bring the arm out. You can see the upper board of the subscapularis here. There's our rotator interval. This is our, the clear rotator interval that extends up behind the biceps tendon to the leading edge of the subscapularis. So that's our triangle where we want to put our anterior portal. To make sure we can get down to our glenoid and up towards our superior labrum, which we can. So we're going to bring the arm to a range of motion to see if, how the humerus engages into the leading edge of the glenoid there. You know, this one looks big to me. There's also some bone loss on the glenoid side. So I think we're going to do essentially a remplissage procedure here. You can see I'm rolling the cannula against the lab, uh, sorry, the capsule and the tendon to make sure that it is staying extracticular. You don't want to penetrate the capsule because we want to actually use the anchors to penetrate the capsule. Great. And then we're gonna take an anchor and then we're gonna twist this anchor in. I love that squeaky sound, makes me happy. And we're just gonna snap those to the side and then we're gonna put our superior anchor in. So we're gonna use that cannula to make sure we're extra articular again. See now, see how we've created that bridge between the superior and the inferior anchors. We're gonna put now this right up against the articular surface, but at the superior aspect of the hill sacs defect. Kind of in that position there, perfect. And then we're gonna insert that anchor in the superior hole. but we like to put the anchors in at the very beginning so that that's actually when the humeral head is still subluxed anteriorly so you can actually see better posteriorly. And you can see if I just tension those sutures, how it shifts and implants the posterior capsule and cuff tendon into that hill sex defect, making it extra articular. So that's gonna be our so-called rump massage at the end of the procedure. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take sutures from each of the anchors. First thing you want to do is just make sure that the sutures slide. And they do. Okay, and then we're going to tie one of these just to each other, just freehand. And so we tie a knot externally out of the body. Well, that's what external means, extracorporally. Okay, see how we've tied this knot on the outside? And what's going to happen is when we pull on the other corresponding sutures, it'll actually drag that knot into the subacromial space and press that suture against the tendon and opposing it to the hill sacs lesion. Okay, so go ahead and pull those sutures and we'll see as he pulls them, the knot will go into subacromial bursa and start pressing that against the hill sacs lesion. Now, of course, we have to finish off and tie the rest of 
the suture loop. So we're going to have to tie a static knot now. You can see how he's tying these knots. It finishes the suture loop and now opposes the tendon against the hill sac's lesion. Okay, so you can see how it's all opposed. So that's our rent massage. When we come back, and we can see our bank card repair.